92 is really the meat of the document. There's a lot of pages here. It's the budget, the actual performance of each fund. Uh, and there's around 65 of them or so. And uh, we'll not be covering each fund in pro programmatic budget today individually, but it's there for you to look at. You can tell the performance of each fund and each program during the year with this. And if we covered each one of these, we'd literally be here till the sun went down tonight. So we're going to skip that today. Um, I'd like to turn you to, uh, refer you to page 94 and 95 of the document. This audit is required to be performed under governmental auditing, auditing standards, and uh, we assess the entity's internal control, which is the checks and balances. Uh, people may not know what internal control is, but that's just a good common term for it. In order for us to design procedures for us to express an opinion on the financial statements, but not the entity's internal control. And the report on page 94 and 95, the results basically are the outcome of this report is that we did not identify any deficiencies in the internal control or no instances of non-compliance that are required to be reported under governmental auditing standards. Um, I had mentioned earlier that we would provide discussion regarding the single audit. Uh, a single audit is required if 500,000 or more in federal funds are expended and the Lowndes County Board of Health certainly does meet that threshold. Uh, the single audit covers pages 96 through 103 of this audit document. And uh, our report on the single audit begins on page 96. So if you'd like to return to page 96, uh, that's what we will be covering right now. And uh, in a nutshell, it states that in our opinion, the Lowndes County Board of Health complies in all material respects with the requirements that could have a direct and material effect on each of its programs. Uh, compliance is a word meaning it's to act in accordance with the guidance set forth. Turning to page 98, it's called the Schedule of Findings and Question Costs. It's a good format. You can sit there and it gives the summary of the audit results as well as identifies each major federal <coughs> program of which there are eight and uh, to qualify as a major program, 300,000 or more has to be expended by that program or a cluster of related programs. Uh, turning to page 100, it's called the Schedule of Expenditures of Federal Awards or the CFA, and it continues through pages 102. This schedule, it details 38 programs that receive funds and how much is expended, or federal funds and how much is expended directly from, this, this money is provided directly from federal agencies or passed through state agencies. And uh, the three federal agencies these funds are main, mainly generated from are the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and the U.S. Department of Education. And uh, at the bottom, the, the schedule you can see the federal expenditures total six million one hundred three thousand four hundred twenty dollars so earlier i told you the total of expenditures for the board was a little over 13 million dollars so uh, expenditures for federal funds encompass 46.3 percent of all the board's expenditures and uh, as you can take from that that figure of the federal funds they really help provide important funding for the board so they can provide vital services so you can say 40 or 6 percent of your funds come from one source that's that's a pretty good chunk right there um, i'd like to add that the data collection form which is required in a single audit to be filed with the federal audit clearinghouse it has been filed with the clearinghouse and the single audit has been accepted and is deemed complete by the clearinghouse and as well the audit report was filed timely and remitted to the georgia department of health to uh, Bob Gospel, I believe. And, uh, they, have, they have received it timely. That's, that's why you have an audit. It's required by your grantors, and they have the grantors have received it as well as the federal audit clearinghouse. Uh, at this time, Mr. Stalby is going to pass out a communication from the auditors to those in charge of governance. <laughs> 